Hello everyone, welcome to this Libra reading. This is uh, for all Libras and it is for October 2022. It's a general reading. Happy birthday, of course, all Libras. I just remembered. I'm a Libra, I should remember. <laughs> happy birthday to all Libras. I wish you a wonderful and happy birthday. And I'd like to say that this reading is a general reading that's going to be a lot about everything that's happening in your life, from your love life, your home life, your money life, your work life, and everything in between. I hope you'll enjoy it and let us begin. Oh yes, one more thing I'd like to say. With this reading, there'll be also, um, you can ask a question and you will have an answer from the angelic answering cards, which I am going to use today. And at the end of the reading, you will get also to know who, what are the star sign combination of the person that you are destined to be with in October onwards. And I'll talk about that. Now, let's see two major impacts that will impact all liberals. Wow in um, October and we have October itself number 10 and we have the ten of pentacles which is the card of money abundance of money it's about windfall it's about large amount of money that changes your life it's about wealth to the highest level and um, absolute money big money coming your way um, with it comes abundance of changes Libra so Libra prepare for an amazing perhaps windfall i could say it is a possibility to windfall because you can't get wealth and riches to this degree unless it's something really big so do play the lotto play the lottery like i've always said and play very small amounts and play consistently uh, continuously and consistency is everything so don't stop until you win the second major impact seems to be some sort of a loss uh, five of pentacles does seem to be lost sometimes it's loss of money but this 10 will compensate um, for some of you who might be losing money. For some of you, this could be abandoning a situation, either abandoning someone or being abandoned by someone. Uh, and that too, uh, we will see, we will clarify it and see what else. And sometimes it's an illness situation where healing will be taking place if only we see what the cards say. So we move on now to the sacred forest and see what they tell us. Two cards. Two cards, Sacred Forest. Let's see what they want to tell us for October for all Librans. Now, the first one looks like a renewal. This is the card of judgment where there is going to be a new beginning, a new lease of life that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, someone wonderful to start life with, a lot of abundance. And this could be also in regard to this. This could be changing your life. The Ten of Pentacles could be changing your life and bringing you a life of wealth, compensation for all the losses you've gone through, for all that you have done and sacrificed. But an amazing new life with um, ending a chapter of your life, a karmic chapter coming to an end and getting a lot of rewards. So that's beautiful. And the second one is um, stability. Something a lot of you might be going through and needing that, that part of your life that needs stability, whether it's your love life, whether it's your home life, your work life, whatever it's been missing and you haven't had uh, the feeling of stability, it is going to take place. I'll just see the number there. Okay. So a lot of transformations are going to take place to bring you on stability in your life i also feel like there's going to be a new beginning which we we do see that also the renewal it's a new beginning that is going to bring you a lot of success um success and stability together that's amazing so there is a loss of health or any kind of loss of love or loss of money with the five pentacles it's going to be compensated with the stability that you are going to be given let's see what else the universe wants you to know my dear viewers, it's because of my left hand that um, I'm not able to shuffle. Um, the tendons are all damaged and not able to bend it. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups, a beautiful card, all about spiritual and emotional fulfillment to the highest level possible. This is where your wishes are being fulfilled. This is where your dreams can be fulfilled also. Wishes and dreams fulfilled and being in a state of having it all and not needing anything. How incredible is that? That could be coming with the renewal that is going to give you that compensation if you can put them together and hold them. Sam, you see, uh, it is about this renewal, this new chapter of life that's coming after an ending is going to give you this emotional fulfillment because it is going to compensate you for everything you didn't have or you, you lost in the process of Five of Pentacles. So magnificent uh, renewal that's going to bring you abundance of money and emotional stability both together wow we have the six of pentacles this shows that there is going to be a rise in your finances you are going to be empowered big time financially 
my dear Libra, and you are going to be in this in a position where you'll be helping others. Others will be relying on you. You'll be able to do charities. There's going to be a rise in your money big time. And of course, having the Ten of Pentacles unite with this card together shows that there is a big capacity of money coming, a large sum of money. And people say, why do I put uh, so talk about money so much? When it comes in the reading, we can't change it and make it into love. It's not. It's money, and it's a big amount of money coming. And this is the card of wealth and riches. So I can't change it to love. When it's love and emotional fulfillment, I do talk about it. This is emotional fulfillment to the highest level. And then the next one is the Ten of Cups. But when it's wealth and money, I've got to say wealth and money. Now, for those of you who are always questioning and saying, how much longer? We don't know what divine timing is. All you do is you do your bit. Your bit. There it is. Um, you do your bit by playing very small and consistently, continuously. Don't go spending two, three hundred dollars a week. Spend five, ten dollars a month, and then you won't be questioning it when. Timing is up to the universe. Now we have the wheel. Oh wow! Sorry, not the wheel. The the world. An amazing card, all about abundance. Again, elevation and life being uplifted to to levels beyond where you are now. So big money is changing your life. This is together. Any of these cards, I say, play the lotto or the lottery. Don't stop till you win. Um, the elevation in life is a is a major one. It's and this wealth card is a life changer. Both of these cards are changing your life and elevating you to heights, giving you everything you've always wanted and more. Every expectation met and more, and a lot of victories all together in every sector of your life, especially financially more than anything else but with the world it's everything it's your love life your home life and every possible and your health okay so the high priestess something's hidden from you something that you're not aware of so maybe you're not able to see what i'm talking about now that there's going to be a lot of happiness a lot of money coming um this is your higher self trying to show you the signs trying to tell you your gut feeling your intuition whatever you you might call it but it's your higher self that's within you that knows the truth and it's always trying to reach out to you and when you're silent when you're in meditation something is happening and what's happening is that you are elevating and moving to skyrocket um, elevation in life and your highest self knows that but you don't so if you are in the midst of worry and concerned and not feeling stable and feeling lost all that is changing and when it does please write to me I'd love to hear it in the comment section um, I love hearing that okay so we have the seven of swords the seven of swords is making the right decision there's only one right choice one right decision there's no need um, to sort of think of another solution there's only one solution and deep inside of your heart having these two cards together deep inside of your heart you know what is true you know what is the correct answer so your higher self is saying no matter how hard it is make the right choice do the right thing even if it's concerning yourself or someone else but make the right decision if it is making a decision for somebody else um, your higher self is trying to reach out to you to do that and by doing that you're dealing with the truth so only the truth is going to set you free and help you uh, make the choice no matter how hard it is Okay, we have the King of Cups. Now, in the regard, this could be in regard to someone that has water energy in them. Water energy very strong here, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. It could be in relation to somebody advising you what to do. It could be in relation for you to make the decision regarding this person. That could be a possibility. Um, we will find out further about this card because um, the King of Cups is someone very caring, considerate, and someone that is going to be supportive and someone very supportive also and very caring. But... In some cases, because it's sitting, it came right after the Seven of Swords, it could mean that you need to make a decision in regard to this person that has got all the energy within them. Wow, we have the Ace of Cups. How amazing. All your wishes and dreams. A new beginning that gives you abundance. And look at that. Now we've got the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Emotional fulfillment to the highest level. The Ace of Cups is fulfillment in four areas of your life they will be fulfilled to the highest level the greatest gift of all amazing gift you could be falling in love with your soulmate you could be reaching to a level of emotional fulfillment in many areas of your life where you will feel so much blessings will be pouring into your life you will be in so much gratitude for these two cards to come in your reading that is truly incredible Now what we're going to do is clarify. We're going to clarify. Um, we'll clarify the Five of Pentacles. And let's see what the Five of Pentacles is all about for the whole majority.
majority of the brands. Okay, it is about a truth, a new beginning that's going to help you come to some sort of realization, a new beginning that's going to give you a victory, something to do with the truth that's going to be, it is to do with you starting a new beginning and it is based on realizations based on epiphanies and based on the truth and it is because of this truth you are going to have the greatest victory you are going to be empowered with the magician it's going to give you all the power that you need everything is going to fall into your lap the way you want it so this is a time in october to do everything you've been wanting to do and you were not able to do especially with the seven of swords wanting to make the right decision not being able to the hard decision that could be a bit um difficult but the magician's power is going to empower you so that you are able to move forward and get everything you want like magic things will fall into your in your lap and everything will go well for you there is a victory imminent and destined for you now let's uh, clarify um let's clarify the king of cups so you don't have to worry about the seven of swords there's going to be support in order for you to move forward from that but the king of cups i'm wondering about let's see for all Libras. Okay, it is someone that's very supportive. It is. It is someone connected to someone else that's got Earth energy in them. Taurus, Virgo, er, uh, sorry, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone with Earth energy is going, is, um, going to be very supportive and uh, very much help you to make the right decision regarding the King of Cups. Um, also, the King of Cups could be the reason uh, or the person that is going to support this earth energy uh, unite this earth energy and action is going to be taken now the king of wands energy is all about action being taken and put into um, movement so this could be a job offer this could be um, a business uniting two people and finally they can put things moving there could be somebody else a third party helping um, this situation move forward but action is going to be taken and a lot of goals are going to be achieved but there is a lot of support coming your way um, in, a, in a big time especially those liberals that have fire energy within them like Sagittarius Aries Leo there could be also fire energy and earth energy um, being uh, coming into your life and bringing you a lot of support it could be relationship wise it could be a new love um, that might be earth energy or fire together or they could be um, water energy so all that is all possible but um, it could also be a business uh, kind of a deal that might be going on to do with work related or um, uh, an offer of something magnificent okay now my dear viewers let's have a look what the universe and your guiding angels want you to know one message one very important message for all Liberans for October. And we have um, giving thanks. What a beautiful card. That's what I was trying to say here. You will be in so much gratitude for what's coming. And that's what this is all about. Having, being very grateful, giving thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. And that's why we have the Ace of Cups and the Nine of um Yes, actually, you can't hold them together like that. The Nine of Cups, emotional fulfillment to the highest level, your dreams and wishes being all established. You are going to be giving thanks. You are going to be in gratitude for all the blessings of love that are pouring into your life. And also know that you you truly do deserve, um, deserve to be and to have the greatest um, love of all, love, to have your heart's dream and truly what your heart desires. You truly deserve that and you are going to be granted that, especially with the Ace of Cups, um, with being the greatest gift of all. So the blessings that are going to be pouring into your life are going to be so amazing that you are going to be absolutely in awe and in so much gratitude to the universe. So that was a beautiful message and it sort of confirmed and reaffirmed everything. Now we can try this section. Here, let's see what else the universe wants you to know. Important factors. Two cars we've got. Okay, so cleansing waters. Now cleansing waters are all about purification, spending time, quality time outdoors, um, replenishing. Is very important replenishing with water and um, also um, purification is also relieving anything um, removing anything that's toxic from your life bringing the force of vibration and the the strength and the power 
of um, purity into your life. Replenishing with water is very important too, to pay attention to drink a little bit extra, even if you do a few sips a day extra. Um, and then we've got miracles, a beautiful card. This is the card of miracles is all about literally miracles taking place in your life. Abundance is coming in your life with both of these cards and the miracles just confirmed and reaffirmed this wondrous change that's emerging and bringing you abundance. So the renewal is going to be part of that. Um, miracles coming in this renewal because in this renewal there's a lot of um, compensation and a lot of healing that's going to come with that and uh, also of course I'm not going to keep repeating the, the magnitude of the nine of cups and the ten of pentacles so that's truly incredible let's have a look at your uh, love life what else or what else the universe wants you to know We have, it is safe to fall in love for those of you who are unsure of, you know, uh, should you, should you or shouldn't you, if you're concerned, open your heart, it says. The universe, your guardian angels are really giving you the go ahead to open your heart and really um, fall in love. Ace of Cups again, grab it. <laughs> Same as my hands. So I will just put this over here like that. And as you can see, the, the Ace of Cups is about not a normal uh, situation, not a normal emotional fulfillment. It is about an incredible emotional uh, fulfillment. Someone magnificent is entering your life with the miracles that are taking place and everything. The Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups shows that you are going to meet someone spectacular and the universe is saying, I'll just move that out of the way for now. Just hold these two together. So the, the universe and your guardian angels are showing here that it's safe to go ahead they're giving you the green light to say, go ahead, open your heart and do fall in love with this person. You don't have to question it. You don't have to be worried. You deserve love and you are given someone really wonderful. It's chosen, someone really chosen for you to spend the rest of your life with someone that will love and nurture you and honor you because it's coming from the universe. It's coming from the divine. That's why you are going to be in so much gratitude because it's a blessing coming to you in all angles. Now, um, we'll talk about this card here, which is all about finance, uh, finances and career. This ma this is a situation where some of you could be having problems um, in your relationship, and that's what probably the Five of Pentacles is all about, where there is financial issues or career issues that could be bringing some sort of um, problems in your love life or in your relationships or in your home life. There are issues of finances, and, um, and that could be um, a problem that, also, the Ten of Pentacles might um, put an end to it because of the blessings that are coming your way and the big money that's coming and the Six of Pentacles might resolve this problem where there were financial issues and final financial problems. So if you were having that in your current relationship, you will see that that is getting resolved. There will be reconciliations and things will go really well. And now what we're going to do is ask a question in your heart and we are going to let your guardian angels to give you an answer so close your eyes and ask a question and we are going to get one answer for everybody let's see what they tell us for libra for october and it's a beautiful card it says in the very near future you are going to be united with someone wonderful that's going to uplift you um you are not going to be alone as you can see the two angels together here um in alignment and together togetherness shows that you will be with someone that you are going to have a beautiful future with and someone that is going to uplift you and give you support in every way and now we are going to find out who but remember the answer is in the very near future and the near future could be next month so um We've got your answer there. And let's see now who this person is that your guardian angels are bringing forth. And that's why we had this. I'll just hold these for a moment. That's These are connected. Someone wonderful to open your heart and prepare yourself. Yes, thank you, Sam. Um, prepare yourself for someone wonderful to open your heart to the greatest energy of all in this world, which is love. And you deserve love. Um, the reason they're saying to you, go ahead, open your heart, don't be reluctant, don't be hesitant, it's because it's the gift from the angels for you. So that's truly wonderful. Let's see who all the Librans are going to be ending up with. Let's see who are, what are their star sign combination, the person that you are going to be um, with starting October onwards, the truth, four cards we're going to take. So we have 
Saturn, which is Capricorn. Oh my goodness, we have Saturn again twice. We need two more. So double Capricorn. Isn't that amazing? A lot of Libras are going to be dealing or being with someone that has very strong Capricorn. Whenever it doubles, it just means it's very strong. Now, the other wonderful thing about this person is that they have fire energy, Sagittarius and Leo. Fire energy goes incredibly well with the earth energy of capricorn so they will be very strong capricorn that's number one you need to know that the strongest part of them is going to be earth and it's capricorn um and then you've got the fire energy which means they are very well balanced very uh, much in control of their life sagittarius is all about power and strength and wittiness and also about love compassion and then you've got leo which is all about nurturing and again someone very strong very caring very loving and having the earth energy capricorn here uh show that this person is going to be very well balanced very independent someone that you can rely on someone that can be there for you very uh, nurturing power very nurturing indeed and this is someone that you can fall in love with very easily because it's someone very loving and it's someone very much um, somebody that will be very much uh, giving you the foundation you need because the earth energy here with the Capricorn is what Libra needs. Libra is an air energy. You are an air energy Libra and what makes you comfortable and gives you the earth, the foundation is the earth that comes with the Capricorn. Someone really real and honest and down to earth and the Sagittarius and Leo of course makes it someone very honest and very sincere and very giving like yourself my dear Libra, so you will unite well with this person. And this is the person that's coming in your life with those attributes and star signs and these um, personalities. Someone really wonderful and someone very hard worker and they could have their own business also being a Leo, very much in control of their passions and it is someone very passionate at the same time. I do hope you enjoyed your reading. Do give me um, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also don't forget to give me a comment, and I wish you a lot of blessings. Namaste.